Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. I can't tell you, I have been pushing Newmar for this for years and we finally have great options for you with big horsepower, big torque, and smaller RVs. So as usual, I like to start my RV reviews from the inside out. So please, Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this Monday morning. We are inside of a 4118 Mountaineer. This is a fantastic floor plan, and this is a 2023. We are going to compare this to the 2024 3825. So we have two new floor plans in uh, 2024. And today's video is really going to be designed to help you look at some of the little nuances that might make you able to make a good decision for your family and how to get camping down the road. So this is by far our most popular mountain air floor plan. Um, for a lot of people that have come out of a Dutch Star looking for a little more horsepower, a little more torque, the 2023 boasts a K3 chassis, uh, the Spartan K3 chassis, 500 horsepower, 1,695 foot-pounds of torque, and a 15,000-pound towing capacity with a tag axle. Fantastic uh, coach. 41 feet, 10 inches long. So this coach next year, available in a 38-foot floor plan, which is a 38-foot 10-inch floor plan, so less than 40, has 525 horsepower, but still that same 1,695 foot-pounds of torque, same towing capacity, but being the first Numar I've ever seen to boast a tag axle on a coach that's under 40 feet. So both of these have fantastic stability, uh, fantastic towing capacity, huge power, and really nice floor plans. This is the Sable Maple High Gloss finish we'll see today. We'll see that in the matte finish next door for 2024. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the layouts and the floor plans so that you can decide whether or not losing that extra two feet of space or three feet of space is going to make an impact on your camping abilities. So one of the things I want to show off here first is this beautiful shower. So this is an all tile floor. It's got the linear drain. It's got the beautiful uh, tile inset. It also has our teak sitting bench, our shampoo conditioner, and body wash dispensers on the wall mounted, an overhead rain shower. It's got the, uh, the handheld shower on a slide, and also it has that Aquamizer shower saving system. So this coach has 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, and 60 gallons of black water. So that Aquamizer system is going to help you save that 80 gallons of gray water, really giving you full use of that 105 gallons of fresh water if you're using it just to shower and you've brought your own beverages. Uh, for instance, my whole household, we drink nothing but bubbly water. So we're going to really use most of our water capacity for doing laundry and taking a shower. So really nice savings there. Uh, this is going to be the same on both of the RVs. So there's going to be a lot of similarities. And that's really why I wanted to focus on the coach. Um, so today's floor plan in the 41 foot uh, eight or the 4118, take a look at all of this storage back here. This is huge storage. So for those of you that are looking to live full time, uh, this is over eight inches deep. It's almost nine inches deep. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves. The highest is going to give you a clearance of over 14 inches. And then in terms of an overall length, you're going to have about 22 inches to the back in this cabinet. So a lot of room for those of you who are living full time looking for a little extra space. Also, you'll note that we have a really nice and generous uh, wardrobe closet here. And this closet has a full length deployment here. So if you are going to be doing anything, um, you know, you need to bring your, your ball gowns. Uh, <laughs> no, and I should be serious about that because a lot of us will go out to really nice occasions when we're staying at a higher end park for dinner and if you want to have a long dress or something like that great place for storage here also i love the fact that these leds open on both the 41 and the 38 foot floor plans when you open them so you can see that little magnetic light just turns it on and off so you don't have to worry about looking of course we've got our safe in the back here uh, this 4118 is going to be a single master bathroom in the sink or single master bathroom sink in the rear this is a bath and a half model Numar does have a bath and a half model available on the 38 as well. 
we are going to look at the mid bath model today these cabinets are about 11 inches deep all carpet lined with 110 outlets inside 10 inches of height here three shelves as well and then in terms of length again this is just so much storage for anybody who wants to be on the road over 34 inches of storage um, you know you can keep your hair dryer in here you can keep your flat iron in here um, all of your you know curlers whatever you might need to bring with you on your trip to be comfortable and you can store them here because they're really there's a, a lot of room for the places or for the things that you want to keep in permanent places um, of course we have our splendid washer and dryer here this is a stackable unit um, fantastic I can get about four loads of laundry uh, out of my Superstar and that's got a 60 gallon uh, gray water capacity so with 80 I would imagine I could probably get six loads of laundry done down the road again fantastic storage Brian Moritz uh, is one of my favorite presenters of all time of course he's our sales manager now so if anyone have, uh, you have, w have wondered why you're missing him uh, we didn't do away with him we just promoted him because he was so good uh, 31 feet 30 I'm sorry 31 feet across just kidding Jody 31 inches across and almost a foot deep here again you've got four shelves and huge huge storage for anything tall that you want 21 inches tall here and this is adjustable so these don't have to be 21 inches you could set them at different heights if you'd like and then here underneath what a great place to keep your laundry i just love that i love the fact you could keep a laundry basket back here um, of course also important this nice porcelain throw has a lot of room here this is a really big space here and we have our emergency egress door that you can open uh, to load and unload laundry linens whatever it is maybe just the supplies that you need for your camping trip so really love this bathroom lots and lots of storage here uh, what i was saying earlier about brian brian and i were debating whether or not the 38 foot floor plan had more storage than the 41 foot floor plan so if you've got a pen and paper handy keep notes of these measurements and we'll go ahead and keep track of this as we go through the coach today because we are going to go through and make sure everybody understands how much space we have in this rv versus the other one so almost two feet of storage here as well. Great place for linens once again. Two really nice full extension drawers here as well. On the mountain air level, you are going to get a lot of like little upgrades and uh, super uh, kitsch comforts. For instance, three zone heated floors, dovetail drawers, really, really nice amenities like having a towel rack on the outside of your shower door. So all really nice amenities. And then as you can see here on both of these floor plans, uh, so starting at the Dutch Star on up, we have the cathedral ceiling. So really good height here in the bathroom. Both of these RVs will have 83 inches of headspace in the coach. So for those of you that are a little taller, fantastic floor plan. And of course, both have a robe hook. Hey, Numar, why don't you put a robe hook in my Superstar? Just saying. Or maybe a lip gloss like thing in the front on the visors. Just saying, anyway. Um, <laughs> No, I know these guys watch our videos. Uh, here's another great wardrobe. Of course, this is a little shorter, but lots and lots of space. Uh, for those of you who have his and hers, we've got hers, hers in the back, and then a his over here on the right. So plenty of room for everybody. Um, you'll also note that this decor, like with this really cool backlighting behind these little crisscrosses that you see in this Sable Maple High Gloss, um, this is going to be the same decor in 2024 as it is in 2023. So the big changes for the mountain air in 2023 are going to be, for the most part, um, they're going to be the uh, chassis changes. So the ability to get that shorter coach. Now things like this more floor where you have the all tile floor in the bedroom. Uh, and in this particular case, a full wall slide uh, that is all tile. This is going to be the same uh, in both RVs. And you'll also always have these beautiful full extension drawers. Um, the Napani um, benefit for Numar is so much, you know, first of all, a great sense of community, really nice people, but the Amish workforce that we have uh, that has been working for Numar for decades, like not just years, but decades. Uh, we've got employees that are well over 30 years with us. Um, those people really take pride in their product and it comes through in everything that we build. Uh, so really nice Samsung 43-inch smart TV. Uh, this 4K smart TV, of course, can be... Uh, you know, running Hulu, Netflix, whatever it may be. And then we also have Dish or DirecTV satellite options available to you. So 
Of course, just be specific about what you need here. Uh, I am gonna show on either side of the bed here, we have these really nice nightstands. And in the King Air a few years back, they started putting a little slit at the top here so you could actually access your 110 outlets and USB ports from inside of your nightstand and then just run the cord up and over um, that little piece of wood. That way you could keep all of your cords stowed inside of the nightstand without having cords hanging out going down the road. The other benefit that it provided to us is that you're also going to have really nice uh, area to put a CPAP machine on either side of the bed here. So some of us are left sleepers, some are right sleepers. One of the major benefits is that you're going to be able to have that CPAP machine on either side so you can stay comfortable and still have the medical stuff that you need available to you. Uh, these little extensions are both gonna be 11 inches wide. Uh, that'll become important in just a minute. Um, so some other features to mention about this coach. So love the cross ventilation on either side of the bed. We do have uh, two 110 outlets up here, as well as little grommets so you can run your cords through if you're going to go ahead and have a laptop or an iPad that you're charging. And starting in 2023, um, we started using a telematics system where you could control, um, for instance, the Ventana or the Dutch Star with your phone. You can also use uh, your phone to control lighting, check your tank levels, all of those things with this coach as well. So in 2023 and in 2024, Telematics have been greatly improved um, in this RV. Uh, there have been some changes in terms of placement, um, and this both of these RVs are going to have our optional dual lithionic um, 320 amp hour battery package. Um, in 2023, you could not order from the factory that third battery, getting you up to 600 and wait 960 amp hours of battery storage. So this coach has 640 amp hours. We can add that extra battery for you, but the most important feature about both of these RVs is that there is a second 3000 watt inverter allowing you to run your central air while you're going down the road without running your generator. On the 41 foot coach, so this floor plan, you will have three ACs. This is very unique. This is the shortest coach with the most air conditioning. So if you are going to be a coastal camper and you like those humid conditions, all that sun, you know, that, that, that great balmy beach air. It gets a little toasty in your RV from time to time when you're running two ACs. So one of the benefits of the 41 foot floor plan is going to be that in a very small compact area, you have three air conditioners versus the two that you'll have on the 38 foot model. So as I mentioned, today is really gonna be more about providing you information so that you can make the right decision for yourself. Uh, the 4118 has been long standing my favorite floor plan but I also think there's a lot of people that are camping off season, trying to get into state parks, that want to get into something that's sub 40 feet. So the fact that Numar finally has a powerhouse that can really get behind you and give you everything that you need in that shorter package is pretty fantastic. Not to mention when you take those three feet off, you really could probably live with the two ACs. So just food for thought. Um, here we'll have um, our awning control. We'll take a look at these today when we're outside. So when Jody pans back here, he'll show you where these awnings are, these are just gonna help keep that sun out of your bedroom when you are on the road, or not on the road, but when you're camping, um, so that if you are not covered by trees, you're gonna stay nice and cool. Um, so another place to measure today, this 41 foot coach has a really cool new feature. Uh, for 2023, we added these adjustable shelves. So as you can see here, if you wanted to be able to keep cookie sheets, you could keep your cookie sheets over here on the left or on the right and have a bigger pot or pan section here where you could actually put your pots and pans in sideways. It doesn't just have to be for bake sheets. So a great storage area here in your pantry. And then you still get these beautiful dovetailed full extension drawers. And these, uh, for those of you who are measuring for purchase, are just under uh, 10 inches, I would say, nine and a half is your safe spot and then in terms of length uh, these are about 26 inches deep uh, keep in mind typically you will have six but because of our new storage area here you have four these are adjustable they're not easily adjustable um, sometime in the past i would allude that you could just go in there and change them it's a little more involved than that but if you're handy it absolutely can be done um, as mentioned earlier, this is a bath and a half model. This is a really important feature to some people. 
having this extra half bath is something that allows you to get up early in the morning, get ready for your camping trip. And one of the things I really love about this coach is the fact that that little, uh, little countertop can be a fantastic vanity for anyone who wants to come in here and sit down and do their makeup, pluck their eyebrows, you know, get their eye makeup on, you know, nice and close. So this is a really good countertop for anybody who's looking for having a nice vanity. So maybe the his is in the back and the hers is in the front. Um, all of that being said, you can totally do that because you have this nice illuminated mirror with all of this space in here as well. A ton of storage capacity for all of your, uh, you know, hair products and goods along those lines. Your friends don't have to see you know, everything that you keep it doesn't have to be on the countertop. Of course, we've got the brains of the operation here with, of course, a very, very nicely labeled uh, circuit board and control panel, all of your fuses. Everything is very nicely laid out by Numar. Um, for those of you who are in the RV market, I got to tell you, there's no comparison out there uh, any longer. You know, after Tiffin's uh, acquisition uh, to, by Thor, um, we really lost a lot of competition, but the nice thing about that is Numar didn't let off the gas. They just tried to take advantage of that market share and get better. Uh, these coaches are fantastic. Uh, really, really thrilled with the quality of them. Um, as you can see, again, more storage, just a great place to keep maybe feminine supplies in your toilet paper. Big drawer space here as well. And then also another nice storage place underneath here. This is probably where I would keep my cleaning supplies in all honesty as opposed to having them uh, strewn throughout the kitchen area. I like to keep the kitchen area for my rice cooker, um, my bigger pots and pans, things along those lines. So you'll find this Whirlpool uh, refrigerator is consistent in almost all of our coaches that have the all electric package. Uh, this, by the way, is available with propane and six batteries, but almost everything that we'll carry, unless you special order the coach, will be all electric. So tankless hot water heater provided to you uh, by our Oasis dual loop Chinook system. Um, a 16, I'm sorry, 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator um, with a really deep storage on the uh, interior. And then a really nice uh, meat and cheese drawer as well as vegetables, fruits. And I love the collapsible tray. This drops down so you can keep your Prosecco. It's so funny at like three o'clock in the morning, I wake up and I'm like, maybe I should bring a bottle of orange juice and Prosecco and creamer. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna do measurements today. You're welcome, Jody. Big smile on Jody's part. Jody's gonna be shooting more videos today, you guys. So make sure you tune in. Of course, we typically do three videos a day, which is, um, you know, a truck, a trailer, and an RV. Today, Jody, Jody's gonna be doing like 12 videos. He's so excited. The glee on his face, okay. All in 54 inches is the length with those two 11 inch inserts that I mentioned just to keep mind up earlier. One of the nice things about this booth is of course you have 54 inches of space from here out, not including your eight inch uh, buffet that you can keep your, uh, you know, salt and pepper, creamer, all of those things under. You also have under, uh, under booth storage. But when this is all the way out, as you can see here, I'm at the end, I have enough room for another human here. Um, so this is a nice setup by Villa. So you could really fit, fit six people in around this kitchen area or this dining room area if you'd like. And then, of course, I mention this often, but I like to keep uh, all of our electronics underneath here. So iPads, laptops, uh, charging, pad, charging cables, all those things, great place for them. And then dishes, I keep dishes under here because I don't have this much room. But look at all of this room you have up here. You could have so many beer steins and coffee cups. I mean, talk about a ton of space. This is great storage in uh, this 41 foot mountain air. We love, love, love this floor plan. Um, also very nice to see here our Numar clock. And then as you'll note here, we've got our smoked windows. So they're a little bit darker. They're not bright glass and they're up to that chair rail. Below that chair rail, you also have your um, central vac your kick plate, and then you've got your hose attachments right here as well. Love this little drawer here. It's just, I don't know what I would use it for. I say that every time, but I know it would just be one of my favorites. Great place here for taller things, um, especially for those of us who have bottles of olive oil or whatever. We might take little special nuances 
that we like when we were cooking. Nice area for those. Another fantastic little drawer here. Great scrub scrubby drawer. And again, here underneath, full extension. So lots of room back here as well. Uh, we also have a nice deep stainless steel single basin undermount sink with the spray in the pour feature. And then in terms of counter space in this coach, uh, back here behind the sink, up to the edge of this wall, we're about 20 inches and we do have an outlet here, an outlet here, and an outlet here. So you've got two 110 outlets here, two here, and two here. So if you wanna run your coffee pot, your toaster oven, your, um, your rice maker, maybe your air fryer, whatever it is, you've got lots of counter space back here. And then the space that you have in this back area to the stove here, it's about 11 and a half inches. And then in terms of overall length, uh, this is about 74 inches across. So really big kitchen area. Uh, for those of you, you who like to entertain, um, I do really love this pop-out island with all of its full extension drawers. I think it's so classy the way they make these drawer faces longer than the actual cabinet so that you can't tell that it's an addition. And honestly, a lot of people will come in here and not even know that that pops out. So that's pretty cool. Big silverware drawer here. Um, both of these coaches are going to have power shades throughout. I did want to kind of show off the difference between um, all the different shades. So the, there's a shade that can come down from behind this kitchen window, but as you can see, look at how much light comes in here when I don't have that shade deployed. Really nice, lots of light, lots of visibility into your beautiful scenic views. Um, and then another exciting thing we're gonna see in these two floor plans is we're gonna flip the script and put the TV instead of having it here on the starboard side, it's gonna be port side in our next coach. Uh, so over here on the top, more storage. I'm just gonna pop out of Jody's way so he can go ahead and show off all this great space. And then my favorite spot for the spices is up top here as well. Great little spice rack. And then another adjustable shelf area here. Uh, if you have like a, an air fryer or a crock pot, because of the fact that you can be pretty creative about where you keep your dishes, there's so many different storage nooks here, that would be a great place for any of those bigger um, appliances that you have that you want to take cooking or take camping with you these days. I know that we've really come a long way in eating healthy and that air fryer is a big part of a lot of people's um, cooking. You know, if you're making french fries or tater tots, it's a great way to go and it's quick and easy. Okay, so we've got this beautiful sound bar up above, but let's go ahead and take a look at our cabinet space. So um, as you can see here, there's a few HDMI cords already pre-wired. You can get your PlayStation in here. You can get your Blu-ray player. Uh, so however you feel like watching TV or playing video games, whatever it is that you might want to do when you get caught in a rainstorm outside. Lots of extra storage up top. Uh, here we have two 110 outlets on either side and we also have two USB ports on either side of this coach. And then this package here is going to be with our theater seating. So as you can see here, one of my favorite features about this is you can change the colors. So today I would just do like the blue and maybe the turquoise to match my outfit. Um, yes, folks, everything I do is about my, out my outfit. Oh, one of the things I was gonna say, and I told Avin this earlier, deja vu, review of two. If you didn't catch my review of the 2024 at the Newmar dealer show, I did a dealer show review. We had very limited time, but I wore the same outfit and I was like, deja vu review of two. So totally had to wear this outfit again because I think it really, really uh, is accentuated by the beautiful interior here. And this is the Avalon interior. Um, one of the nice things about this theater seat is that you have tons of storage underneath here and also a nice place to keep your remotes. But if you wanted to keep a few blankets down here, you could very easily do that. And then there are USB ports in these little seats. And if you haven't watched Mark Love's uh, videos yet, Mark Love does a video. Um, I've done a video of the 38 foot floor plan on the mountain air that we have here at the dealer show. Mark did one last week. Um, and then we were doing this one today. So this is the third review of this coach and you can pick up little nuances throughout 
but he does such a fantastic review of this. But he called this the grandma seat because this is where you could put grandma in the seat and then have the grandkid in the same seat, which I thought was really funny because I just thought it was for small white dogs, but you're right. If you had a cute little seven-year-old that you wanted to snuggle with while you were watching Harry Potter, this would definitely be the spot and you would still have your glass of Prosecco. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, don't drink with the kids. That's, that's, that's adult fun. Adult fun only. Okay, let's put this TV down. Uh, so shades, let's do, let's do some shades. Why not? And let's get that TV down. All right, so this is a really, really nice floor plan. And for those of you who have company, maybe you do have those grands with you. I'm just gonna show you how we convert this bed. So this is gonna be a little different. In the 38 foot floor plan, you'll note that it is a uh, actual hide -a bed uh, with, an, with a gel mattress where this one's gonna be a trifold. Um, so I am gonna measure this for you because this should definitely come into play. Uh, one thing that's nice about this is it's really out of the way and uh, if you're not going to use it very frequently, it's just maybe for like an emergency type of situation, then this is a great bed because um, it's not going to be on the side where your TV is or where your theater seats are. So if you want to lay in, in bed though and watch your television, this is not your, not your setup. But if you want to have the grands out, put your, you can put your cushions back up here like this so their pillows don't fall through. Um, this is a really nice setup uh, for, for the kids. And this trifold is actually really, really comfortable. And so I'll say that about laying on it as well. Um, with my handy digital, oh, by the way, so I, I literally, I had a client come in with this measuring tape and I gave him a really good deal on an RV. So he let me keep it 72 inches long. Um, so Mike, if you're watching this, thank you. I love this measuring tape, 48 inches across. It has numbers on both sides. And I showed it to Andrew and he said it's even dummy proof because it has like 16 inches is like a foot and a half. Is that even right? No, <laughs> no, what, 16 inches is one foot, four inches. Oh yeah, here we go. So 18 is one foot, six inches. So it actually has like all the conversions for you on the tape. It's like my favorite measuring tape ever. I won't lose this one for at least a week and a half. Okay, let's put this back together. Yeah. <laughs> now you know why I need a measuring tape for dummies. <laughs> okay, you guys, I do know, oh, two seat belts back here for those of you who are interested in having those grands come with you. Um, that's of course important because although they probably won't use them, if you happen to get pulled over, it would be nice not to get a seat belt ticket. And of course that would help a little bit. Okay, so now that we've got this put back together, I just want to cover this storage space above the theater seats where we can see where we could keep our Monopoly games. Um, there's our books. So these are a little bit deeper than the first few. And when I say a little bit deeper, this one's angled. So give this one about 14 inches. And then our standard space throughout the rest is gonna be just about 16 inches deep. Um, so these are a great place to keep board games, uh, playing cards, cribbage boards, whatever it is that you might wanna keep with you going down the road. Okay, don't lose your clipboard. Um, I know I've had some people say, why don't you ever show the little storage area behind the chair? I just forget. Uh, but nice little place here to keep some water bottles, sunscreen, anything that you wanna have quick access to whenever you get to your uh, your camping destination, or even if you're just stopping along the road for a hike. Also another two 110 outlets and USB ports. Um, I had someone who tried to order a Dutch Star last week with an, oh shit, we lost the Jeep camera. This is the Mountaineer level equipment. You cannot get this camera until you get to this level. You also get wireless charging docks. And then as you can see here, this is not the extra wide seat. We'll see the extra wide seat um, or the grandma seat, as Mark would call it. And the next coach, things to consider about this seat. If you're on a long road trip, this of course has a recliner and I should do, I'll do the step cover in this one and a step cover as well. So the benefit of this seat is that if you don't have a seven year old or a small white dog, the armrests on this are a little more comfortable. It's got plenty of room 
like it's not tight at all, but maybe a little bit more comfortable if you want to keep your armrests out. Just depends on what your preference is. Um, I think it's really smart for Newmar to make that an optional feature. Uh, now above me, you'll also note that we have our 43 inch Samsung television. So another 4K smart TV. We'll also have one outside as well. And then this is a 50K or 50 inch TV here in the main living room. More storage space up here. I did draw a lot of these blinds today just to keep the glare down and also just to show you some of the privacy. And I wanted to show you what you could see out but not in um, from the exterior of this coach. So we'll take a look at that on the outside. Um, but I also wanted to show you how dark you could have it be. So on the other one, I actually have the nightshade drawn. Okay, so here you'll notice this is gonna be one of the changes that you will see in 2024. This panel is no longer in this compartment. So now you've got your centralized control in the middle of the coach. So it makes this a little less complicated in here, a little more room for buttons. The other thing that you'll see is different is on this system, when you have your uh, solar panels uh, installed at the factory, you'll see this charger here. This of course is just for our Razor antenna. These are our Gerard awning controls. Um, but all of these buttons are gonna be very similar, but there's just a much smaller panel and a little more room up top because this panel's not here. The other thing though, is that we have in our, uh, in our uh, battery compartment, a reset button in the coach. Now, for those of you who are familiar with these uh, Lithiotics batteries, they turn off when they get down to about 10% as a safety feature to make sure that you're going to have enough extra juice if you need to reset your system and figure out why you're not charged to get everything up and running again. Um, so it's nice that they've taken the ability to do that from the outside of the coach to the inside of the coach in the 2024. So that is one of the differentiations you'll see uh, between this year model year and the next. Um, if you'd like to see more about this chassis, Mark does a fantastic job. Uh, the wireless charging dock is up here. Um, and one of the things just to make note of, there's all of these changes that you see on the Spartan Dash happened in 2023. So having the accessibility for your comfort drive system on your steering controls, um, having these 11 new switches added to your steering column, all of these things are going to be uh, the same for 2023 and 2024. So I'm gonna try to make sure I cover a lot of the differences and nuances um, as we go through. I don't think I got the Gerard awning controls right here. So you've got these extra awning controls as well. And I have some of the awnings out on each, on each of these coaches on different places. So we will do an exterior walk, but before we do that, I'd like to go ahead and walk the interior of the, of the 38 foot uh, Mountaineer next. Doorbell. Both of them have a doorbell. All right. So as we walk through this little noisy area, this noisy is going to be a 12.5 kilowatt generator because it's got three ACs. This noisy is a 10 kilowatt generator because it's got two ACs. So if you wanted to know where the noisies are coming from. Um, and now when I say Mark did a fantastic video, like he talks about the steel plate that's guarding the gas line. I mean, this guy is a freaking genius. Um, so if you haven't watched the 2024 video on the 3823 that Mark Love did next week, last week. Uh, you really should. He goes over a lot of the differences uh, or a lot of the uh, features in this coach. And I do think it would be beneficial for you uh, to talk about, like for instance, the air leveling systems. And these are things that all of us uh, here at TransWest are trained in. Um, and then, you know, a lot of us have RVs, you know, I have a 2022 Numar Superstar. Um, I had a 2020 uh, Renegade Verona, but getting out there and camping and knowing and understanding the nuances of these coaches is something that is second to none. So right now when everyone starts to get their inventory back in and there's more places to shop, keep in mind, everyone carries chicken. It's all about how you serve it. There is not a better purchase experience to be had than the one that you can have from me here at TransWest. Between our delivery specialist, our video program, all of our support staff, especially in the business office now, helping to fight for those better interest rates. All of those things are so paramount in making your decision. And I highly encourage you to consider shopping with us here at TransWest. It was a really big honor to be invited to the dealer show this year to make videos. Um, and I think it's representative of the fact that we have such a good program here. 
Now you'll note here, this is this, this is the sable maple, uh, this is the matte finish. So we just looked at an exterior with Avalon and an interior with Avalon. This is the Haven decor and uh, the outside of it is uh, the Hadwick exterior. So um, those are the, that's a new paint color for 2024. Um, but it's nice to be able to see very similar look to these um, cabinets, but just a matte finish. Now again, same headboard layout, mirrored back, really nice inset um, headboard, windows on both sides, same uh, you know, wiring ports where you've got the grommets down below. I am gonna show you uh, under this bed because this is different. So as you can see here, your extended dinette is not going to be 11 inches of an extension. It's going to be eight. So a total of 16 inches as opposed to 22 when you go out that far. And then take a look over here though, quite a bit more room. If you've got a larger breathing machine because of this step up that you have around this, uh, this bed, and then that wider space between you and the rear of this coach, you have a little more room if you have a CPAP machine that you need to plug in. So uh, that's just a, just a little added benefit. I also wanna show quickly, if we can, Jody, just the back of this mirror. So you have a full length uh, mirror in these dividers on these coaches, which is really nice. And uh, in other videos, we'll talk about why we have a rear uh, radiator or a side radiator. One of the benefits you have of a side engine radiator is going to be that you have uh, better uh, you have better breathability. And in talking with a lot of the engineers at Spartan, that's really not necessarily accurate any longer. What happens with a side radiator versus a rear? Most of that air is done through uh, air intakes on the underside of the coach that are now helping that engine to breathe better regardless of placement. But what it does do is it allows us to have a lot more room in the rear of our floor plan. So here, when you open this closet, now you can have shoe cabinets. You can have that whole long expanse for this rear, uh, for this rear end cap. So because we don't have uh, the radiator going into this compartment here, we can make a lot more space in this rear end cap. And that, of course, is going to be really important on this mid-bath 38-foot floor plan. So this is 38 feet, 10, 10 inches long. Um, when I'm here, I have 83 inches of space. Um, this little lip down here, if you're curious, is just over three inches. Uh, but there is a step up. Again, three zone heated floors. As you can see, we have all of the same beautiful uh, decorative ceiling that we had on both. Now we have our big closet here, but we've lost our wardrobes in that three feet. But look what we've gained. Look at these cool drawers. So this is a very uh, remnant floor plan to the 3717, which is really popular. Um, a lot of people like this, or even uh, there's a 35 foot uh, new air that has a similar, uh, similar layout to this. And then back here, because we are using our closet differently, we have moved our safe into this wall. Now keep in mind, this safe in both of these units is mounted to the aluminum substructure of this coach. And then all this extra storage here. And of course, if you didn't know better, you probably wouldn't know that that, that, that was available behind this television. Um, another nice feature I think a lot of people really like about the 37 foot um, Dutch Star uh, or the 35 foot uh, New Air is going to be this bench that you can sit on. So in this 38 foot coach, big storage drawers underneath, Maybe you've got your socks and stuff down here and you're getting dressed in the morning. It's just nice to be able to sit down, get your socks and shoes, get dressed in the morning and have a place that's built in to sit in this coach. Now you'll note, I talked about this earlier in the video, but this crisscross with all of these beautiful backlighting is all the same in this RV. And then another thing to talk about as well is you're gonna have the same three zone floor heat, climate control, uh, you've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on this coach. The other one has three. Uh, here's another one of those awnings deployed as well. And then all of these um, control panels have slide controls. So for those of you who want to have a dimmable light, this is one of the benefits that you get when you get into this mountain air level. Um, now, I love all of this storage. 
So Brian, here we go, pantry storage. Let's take a look and see. So the same, oh, I think, I think Brian's right. I think you get an extra drawer because I think there's four in the 41 and there's five in this one. So let's take a look at the width. So here we go. For those of you who have your pen and paper out, we're still at that just over, I call it nine inches. It's really like nine and a quarter, but call it nine to be safe. And then 24 inches deep. So I don't remember what I said across the street, but if you wrote it down and you're looking to fact check Brian and I for storage in the 38 versus the 41, I like to win. So if I'm right, let us know in those comments down below, or this is a live video you could feed in. If I'm wrong, let's just pretend I never brought it up. Okay. Is that fair? Good, good, that's how I like it. All right, so seriously, look at all this little stuff they give you up here. Like they've got so much extra storage in this coach, it's pretty funny. Now this is a quad slide. Look at, that's pretty cool, right? Above the refrigerator, like you could keep some extra ice trays, whatever you might wanna do. Here's that 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator again. We're not gonna get drawn too far into this because this is the same as the one that we just looked at next door with the water dispensal in the drawer. But this is a quad slide because it's got a mid bath. So let's get into this bathroom and take a look here. So, okay. Benefits. Big bathroom in the middle of the coach, right? Nice storage compartments. Also all tile, same, same bathroom uh, floor plan with a linear drain, beautiful tile work on the inside, emergency egress door. Now check this out. This is what's really cool about this floor plan is remember how I was talking about a place to do your makeup? We still have it in this coach. I know that that's important to a lot of women out there just to have a nice place where you can set everything up, get your foundation on, do your eyeballs, and then get ready for the day. And lots and lots of room here. Now on that 41 foot though, we are, oh shoot, I just flushed the toilet. <laughs> it's because I'm wearing my butterfly shirt. So this is about five and a half inches deep uh, in terms of storage. And you've got same 10 inches. And then across here, uh, we've got about 30 inches across for this, um, for this storage area. There's still two 110 outlets in here to keep your flat iron and your curling iron and your hair dryer. And then here's your storage uh, in the mid bath 38 foot model. So still quite a bit of storage. I hate to say this, Brian, but there's no way you're gonna win this one. You know, dudes and chicks have totally different spatial perceptions. And um, we might not be good at like depth perception, but when it comes to like geometry, I think that we have the edge because this is definitely not as much room as we would have had in that bath and a half model. All of that being said though, this is a ton of storage and all the same great features, just in a different place. This of course is the vent for our hydronic heat. So both of these coaches are going to have hydronic heat, which means that not only do you have your heat pumps on your air conditioning uh, units, but you also have uh, heated floors and you have hydronic heat, which is a tube of glycol going underneath the coach, getting hot, pushing the air over the top of those into these vents, giving us really nice bay heat. Um, the other day I had a client, um, the one who I stole this measuring tape from, yeah, him, hi Mike. Um, and I was, he's like, why are you running the, uh, why are you running the burner heat on your, uh, on your hydronic system as opposed to just, you know, your 50 amp heat, you know, cause the Oasis has a 58 or has an AC one, AC two, and then burner. The reason I was doing that is because I wanted to warm the coach up nice and quickly. All of that being said, you can keep your water warm enough on AC one or AC two to do dishes, laundry and the like. But if you want a nice piping hot shower, I highly recommend you try turning on that burner heat before you get in a shower and you'll get that really great hot water that you're looking for in your shower. Um, and it, it is, it's a difference maker. It definitely uh, is the fastest form of heat um, in terms of the coach. Now here's a new feature. You would, did not see this in the 2023. In the 2024, they've taken your control panel that was in the front over the driver's side and they've moved it here to the center of the coach. Now this is nice because you can control all of your lights for your kitchen, for your bedroom, for your bathroom. Everything has like these great little, um, little, uh, what do they call them? Like not holographs, what's the word? 
think about it, Jody. You, you think about this. Uh, the thing that they carved on the side of the hieroglyphs. 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 I guess that's not what I was looking for either. Anyway. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you can't win them all. All right, floor heat. Um, you know, so coach mode, you know, why outdoor plugged in, outdoor unplugged, activate, sets up everything that I need. Um, AC power, DC power, my generator, uh, my climate control, how much water do I have, all of these things. And again, this is all accessible on your phone as well. Now let's talk about this kitchen though. Okay, so for a lot of us, cooking is important, right? You know, when we go out camping, and you can't always control the weather. Uh, so if you do get stuck in your coach, take a look for this short little coach. Let's just go ahead and measure how much counter space we have here. This is a fantastic 76 inches. I think the other one was 74. And then here to the edge, we've got 29 inches. Now back here, maybe it's only seven inches to your cooktop, but holy mackerel, look at this other island that's standing. Now, when you close this, you have now, instead of a single basin stainless steel undermount sink, a huge stainless steel basin here, as well as a smaller vegetable prep sink underneath here. Now this vegetable prep sink will be covered when this slide comes in, but look at this beautiful amount of space. And then underneath here, I'm just gonna kind of open all these up for Jody so he can kind of pan through and show you. Look at the scrubby holder. You got your trash can little place to store your uh, your sink cover, for instance, is down there on the left. More space back here on the right. Um, now this is not as deep. So 13 inches deep, you know, and then about 10 inches across. But I mean, still tons of space and then still very cool. Ooh, that one's like, that's all of your hot sauce. That's like all the hot sauce you could ever want, whether it's your sriracha, your habanero, you got all of it in there, man. Big drawer here. Oh, this is from the show. I cut them all off and use them in my videos. I had to go back and tell Numar. I was like, I cut off all of your stickers. Well, okay, oh, short drawer. Hold on, hold on, folks. So this drawer is 23 inches deep. This drawer is only 15, and they are both uh, 11 inches wide. So just so you know, silverware drawer right here. Of course, we have our same Fisher Pagel dishwasher in both units. And then lots of cabinet space up here. I can certainly see why Brian would get excited about this. Um, it does have a lot of room uh, in this kitchen for those of you who are looking for a shorter coach. I have been asking for this for years. Uh, there's so many people that want to come in and have big towing capacity, big power, and a small package. So to get the, to get the tag axle on a sub 40 foot coach, which gives you all of that extra stability. And keep in mind, there is a difference of about 9,000 to 12,000 pounds in terms of overall carry capacity on these coaches, which means this little thing is super, super lightweight. It's, it's about 4,000 pounds less. Uh, which means it's a rocket, right? I mean, it was, it's gonna really have a lot of power because it doesn't have all of the extra weight because it's a shorter coach. Um, so for those of you who wanna know if these chairs will tip over when you're going down the road, no, they won't, I promise you. If they do, you're having bigger problems than tippy chairs, I promise you that too. Um, look at all of that room for shot glasses. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. You know what's funny is I actually quit drinking for my entire 48th year of life. So I'm gonna make up for it next year. This is where you keep your um, Pimpernel, uh, your Pimpernel um, uh, placemats. And then again, we talked about this in the back. If we add 16. Oh, that was 16. Wow, I'm a good eyeballer. Add 16, 40 inches instead of 54 inches. So true seating for more like four than six, um, but great area here. And then lots of nice overhead storage uh, to keep all of your plates. These are gonna be uh, a little bit deeper than those of the, so these are about 10 inches deep up here. So if you had smaller dishes, you could actually keep your dishes up here, I would say. And then up here, now wait, HDMI cords. 
and our Bose soundbar. Why is all of this stuff up here? Oh, look at this is a cute one, Jody. Look at that. That's a cute little bee boop. Look at that little guy. He's just a little guy. God, I love the way Nora does stuff. Well, the reason all that stuff's over here is because guess what? Your televator is on this side of the coach. So let's go ahead and go back to our systems and let's go ahead and do TV lift up. And as you can see, now what's the benefit of this? If you think about this, guys, okay, you're sitting out here. It's a nice, beautiful day watching the lake. You know, you've got your party side, all of your, all of your beautiful campsite in front of you. You're not watching TV. But at night when you're watching television, your larger couch is actually facing the business side of the coach. So here we have our two ottomans, which by the way, Villa does a fantastic job at furniture. You can fit a full blanket inside of there and your TV remote. And then you can turn this over and have a place to eat, or you can turn it over and have a really nice way uh, to lounge. So for those of you who want to lounge, this is where you would lounge. Um, okay, we're gonna put these upside down in a second, but I'm just gonna move them out of the way. Oh shoot, Jody, I forgot a cabinet. Oh, it's being blocked by the sink cover. Anyway, access to your trash can. Why is that important? Going down the road, just open it up. Pop your trash down there. All right, so sorry about that. Okay, folks. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I'm good at I am I am just crushing it today. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, in Mark's video last week, he showed both of these coaches with the slides closed. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and roll with him on that one. Let's see. So this is gonna be, hold on, it's underneath here. Oh, come on. There it goes. All right, there's a little release underneath. It's just hard to get a hold of. This is your jackknife. There we go. Jackknife sofa. And then, so if you wanted to watch TV, geez, this is stiff. There we go. Um, you would not be able to do it on your hide -a bed but you could still hang out on your jackknife. Oh, by the way, you know what's really under underrated in coaches? Lounging distance. Big TV up here, right? Look at this. I can just lounge here and watch my big television or watch my big television. So lounging area on this coach is a couch that inside to inside, because that's what really matters, is 64 inches. But check this out. Remember I said this one had a better bed? Well, it does. This has, now don't tell your family that because then they're gonna wanna hang out in your RV and go camping with you all the time. Well, maybe you want them around, I don't know. For me, all my friends know I have a bunk model. I don't think we ever have anything less than five people with us. In all honesty, there we go. Look at that, a true hide-a-bed. I love that. Now I don't notice if you all noticed, but in the last model when I did the trifold, it did not, again, it did not have an inflatable mattress, which is awesome. Someone has finally convinced everybody not to do that. Um, okay, so, we said the other one was 48 inches across. This is the same way. Wait, so it's the same bed. 70, yeah, so 72 by 48 is your measurement on both of these. Um, this one's a little more comfortable. It's not huge. I think they're both really good. Um, if you had a company and they had to sleep in your beautiful mountain air and suffer through the fold-out bed. I think they would live in either situation. Okay, so there's that. Two seat belts once again, so we're still fully legal. And let's put this back together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the queen seat last, and then we're gonna go outside and take a look at bays because that is gonna be one of the biggest differences is you're losing three feet of base storage, right? So, there's that. Boy, do I have a lot to clean up later. I hope you all appreciate these comparison videos because they are a lot. 
poor Jody, his like arm's gonna fall off by the time we get done with half of them. But I don't know, for me, the way that I've approached this job is when I was a consumer and I was shopping here, I came out and I saw an RV that I liked and I wanted to watch a video on it. So I had to watch Matt's RVs and there's three things you like and three things you don't. Well, I actually want to look at measurements. I want to understand color combinations. I want to understand matte versus, you know, glossy. Um, I want to understand why I might want to have the grandma seat. So definitely, I don't know, dude. You'd have to have a pretty small seven-year-old. But you could do it. It's totally illegal. But you could do it. But it would be great for a small dog. So for those of you who are concerned about having a place for your puppy, there you go. Um, you've got 43-inch Samsung smart TVs in both of these RVs. But as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that changes is what we have here in this front compartment. So you'll see here, no control panel. And this is your Xantrex control system. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have access to a lot of this stuff on your phone, so you'll be able to read it. But this restart button is uh, right here, is only in a 2024. So that's the big difference here. Um, in terms of Wi-Fi systems, you know, um, oh, I think, I don't know if I mentioned, we had a wireless charging dock right there. Um, that's the Kurt Spectrum brake controller, um, you know, which is nice. We have automatic high beam control starting in 2023, which is a big deal. Um, I'm gonna stop this generator because it's gonna be loud when we go outside. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, really similar coaches the big new advent is gonna be that floor plan. And then of course, uh, there's five uh, available coaches in 2024, and there's only, there was six in 2023. So uh, only two 45 foot floor plans in the 2024 model. And the reason that that is, I'm gonna turn this little generator off real quick. Jody and I are using air conditioning today. So you just never know, like last week, we were like using like, you know, uh, scarves and like skull caps. This year we're using, or this week we're using air conditioners. You just really never know what the weather is going to be like here in sunny Colorado. You know it's going to be sunny, but it might be three, and it might be 83. You just really never know. Okay, so storage bays. Let's talk about them. Dometic, three cubic foot, with a shelf above it. Why? Because when you're loading your crap, you need a place Put things down it's fantastic uh, what do you put in here drinks they take up more space than anything else you put beverages in here maybe you got some hamburger buns and some popsicles on this one that are frozen but drinks in this side for sure pick out whatever you want you could unplug it by the way and air up your paddleboard in here i love that by the way if you don't have a paddleboard yet god get a paddleboard um so all of these docking lights are really nice uh, for when you get to camp at night. But one of the things I think that we want to talk about today is the size of the storage underneath and the height. So we have the star foundation on this coach today. So you're going to notice this, this foundation is raised up above the chassis rail. So what that means is that you have a three inch subfloor underneath. And the reason you can do that is because you have the star foundation. Now this, little bad boy here. This is on the measurements, by the way. It says 53, it's really like 56. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it, you little booger. Oh, get out of there. All right, that's fine. I needed to go in here anyway. So here, the chassis rail is about 16 inches of clearance. So 53, inside, inside. It's actually like 54, but whatever. 42 across. So there's that, so 53 by 42. Oh my gosh, why is it being such a pain? All right, and these are on power, uh, powers, optional power slides or manual. I prefer manual, um, but when you start getting into the bougie stuff, you don't even get a choice, you just get power slides. Um, now this one though, this is a big deal. All right, so how much storage do we have in a 41 foot? because some of us don't have that much stuff. And then there's me. So this is about 90 inches all the way across. <laughs> and 40, it, oh, was that 42 again? Yeah, 
41 and a half. So 90 by 41. So pretty good storage, but this comes out to 60%. So as you can see, I have my 43 inch Samsung TV up here in the side of the coach. Now it's funny because in Mark's video, he said, well, because of the size of this, they had to put it down below. In my opinion, the benefit of this, uh, of this television being down below is it's just easier to watch. Um, having it up here is fine, uh, but I wanted to show we've got these carefree awnings up here. So you can see that. And I also have the door awning showing today as well. And then here is our tag axle. And then also on this K3 chassis, we have the ability to air up our airbags manually. And then we have a dual fill for our DEF, which is nice. Um, this tag, again, is gonna give us the stability that we want. Um, in our Spartan Bay back here, as you can see, we've got our big chassis batteries, all of your filters. Um, for those of you doing your own service, God bless you, but I would really encourage you to consider having uh, someone like, you know, here at TransWest, we have chassis and house service available, so you can get your Newmar serviced not only at the house level, but also at the chassis level. We have two separate buildings, two separate groups of mechanics that specialize in different things. Um, but I would have your service done annually by a dealership because it's not just changing your filters out that matters. There's also a lot of things that you're supposed to lubricate um, and that you're supposed to make sure you're checking annually and not all of those are accessible uh, just because they're on the exterior of the coach. Some of those things are something that you should let a mechanic get into and, and make sure, because this is a very big investment. You wanna make sure you're taking care of this house. Um, so as we mentioned earlier, uh, this rear mounted, uh, this Cummins engine, so this is the ISX. Whoa! <laughs> Did you catch that on camera? A little bit? <laughs> okay, good. That was pretty funny. This is an 11.9 liter, uh, engine this is a big dog again so 525 horsepower in 2024 500 horsepower in 2023 still though 1695 foot pounds of torque is where it's at this thing is going to get up and get you down the road and just is really nice uh, pretty easy access to your hydronic fluid here if you mentioned that you've watched my video i will give you a free gallon of that it will come in handy um, we've of course pre-wired for our voyager camera system our seven pin connector our air brake all of the things that you need to get going down the road. If you're flat towing, we do a Blue Ox install here that is really second to none. Uh-oh, is this stuck? It is. I broke it. When I almost killed myself, I broke it. Have to figure that out later. Um, side radiator, once again, breathability, sure. Not really, really just compartmentalization. And this is coming from somebody who uh, trains us on chassis. And I think I found that to be really interesting because I think that it is a um, urban legend that you are gonna get better breathability here, but you've gotta think about when you take this out and you move it over here, all of that rear cargo space you have in the back is open up to you. Um, up here, if you wanna keep an extra gravity hose and some gloves, that's what I would use that for. The paper towel dispenser right here, your water hose is on a power reel, which is nice. This has the SantaCon system to it all of your tank levels again you could read them on your phone or you could read them on this digital display underneath your bay um, and then your 50 foot power cord oh mark talks about how that door goes up and down and it is really cool anytime you can get more storage um, out of your coach it's better uh, but there's your 50 foot power cord with your surge protector and then on the bottom left there that's your that's your cable access so for those of you who are using cable at a park it's right there it's really easy to get to uh, the Oasis dual loop Chinook system is going to be the same on 2023 and on 2024. And then again, I've got all of these awnings out. So you can see these bedroom awnings and this living room awning. And I'm just going to pull this little bad boy out here. That same LED light that you saw in those cabinets in the back of the bathroom, they're underneath this coach too. So really good lighting throughout the RV. If you get there late at night and you need to get set up, um, Newmar just makes it so easy. I mean, this is just such first-class living. And again, for those of you that are looking to get into this like shorter capacity or shorter uh, carriage, but larger capacity, this is fantastic to have not just one or two options, but to ha have three options. So two 38 foot floor plans in 2024, as well as our tried and true 41 foot floor plan that we've been carrying for years. Um, so 
two 38s, 141 and 245 foot floor plans. Uh, down here you'll see there's that Lithionics system. This is an optional system. Um, this is a lot of money. Uh, if you'd like to get that third battery, it's even more. And it's not necessary for everybody. If you have questions about why or why not you would choose lithium, give me a holler. Um, I run eight, eight, or eight LED, LED. <laughs> I run eight, uh, eight amp hour, eight 100 amp hour batteries. Um, and you know, they're just, it, I don't need the lithium system. I'm, I'm okay running my generator going down the road to get my air conditioning going. But if you're track side or you go to NASCAR a lot or you go to campsites where you're not allowed to run your generator to keep your air conditioning running, this really might be a great solution for you. Um, but it's a big spend, so you might want to make sure you're educated before you go ahead and jump off that cliff because it's a lot of dollars uh, that you may not need to use. Um, okay, so you get the washer here for your windshield, right? So every time we get up a step, you know, you get, you get a little more. And I love the fact that you get the windshield washer here, but one of the things that's really nice about these Mountaineers is this is the first level where you'll see we have the disappearing uh, windshield wipers. So you'll see on both of these models, we've got our mobile eye, we've got our 360 degree camera system. We have our radars in the front of both of these. Again, 23 and 24, very, very similar in terms of the uh, feature upgrades. We had new headlights that were installed in 2023. So they're the same new upgraded headlights in 2024. But as you can see here, um, same thing, no windshield wipers, and this is a big deal. Uh, so we'll start back, go down this side of this coach as well. They moved the, uh, they, they, they moved your windshield washer apparatus from here to here. Uh, but both of these are gonna be on a HWH uh, powered slide tray. Keep in mind, again, uh, in 2023 and 2024, it will be the same in both of them. In 2023 or 2024, when you have a 41 foot floor plan or larger, you're going to have a 12.5 kilowatt generator. When you have the shorter floor plan, you can afford to have a 10 kilowatt generator. And of course, that is a step up from your eight kilowatt that you would have on a Dutch Star uh, that was shorter. So if you get a 37 foot Dutch Star, for instance, you're in an 8 kW. Or if you get a 38 foot Mountaineer, you're on a 10 kW. You have to go to a 43 foot Dutch Star to get that 10 kW in that product line. So. A lot of these things, you know, people say, well, why do they cost more? What's different about them? If you need someone to help walk you through the nuances and what you're getting, I'd be happy to explain to you where that value is coming from. Again, here's that Lithionics system with that second uh, 3000 watt inverter. That's again is what's going to allow you to run that central air walk driving down the freeway. Or um, if you're out camping, keep in mind, you're almost doubling your storage capacity, even though the numbers read 640 to 960. Uh, in terms of time that you can spend uh, with your air conditioning on, that third battery will give you a much longer period of time that you can run your AC without having to worry about uh, either recharging or you know having solar feeding that second or that battery uh, box so you can keep your air conditioner running. Um, again, Oasis, as you can see, there's a little pass through here. This is where we're gonna lose some of our storage, right? Because of the fact that we don't have that big, uh, long, we've got three feet we're losing on this coach. Again, 50, 50 foot power cord, surge protector, LED lights underneath. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be very similar. Same really beautiful water base, same functionality. Our egress door on this coach, of course, is gonna be in the middle of the coach. Please do keep in mind, we do have a bath and a half model. Um, I know for a lot of people, having that second bathroom is really important. If that's the case, you can still get your 38 foot in a bath and a half model as well. Storage compartment here for your gloves and uh, your backup hose. Again, there's your other filling side for def. Side mounted radiator, once again, Spartan K3 chassis. You'll notice we went from 500 to 525, but everything else stays the same. That beautiful Cummins marriage to the Spartan chassis. All that Cummins, of course, is in red. Spartans in black, same great access to all of your filters and your batteries back here in this rear bay as well. And then as you can see here, I've got our awnings deployed. Um, and I had somebody who wanted to see this uh, over the weekend on a Ventana, but keep in mind, this dual awning package is really handy because 
Most of the time you actually only have one deployed. It just depends on where the sun's coming from. But as you can see, the way that they're pitched down, they actually give you quite a bit more uh, shade protection on the side of the coach, keeping you, of course, cooler. Now let's talk about this. You've never seen this before. Uh, there's no other manufacturer that adds a tag axle. Um, and this is up to 17 degrees of pivot. And what it does is it actually releases a pin from the rotor and allows it to turn. And what that does is it gives you an even smaller turning radius than you would have because your turning radius is the front, uh, the front driving axle to the front axle as opposed to the rear. So this pivot here is gonna give you much more maneuverability, but this extra tag is also giving you better stability. So going down the road, if you've got a heavy load, this is a really nice feature. Oh, I forgot to mention too, you can push a button and tilt the, the poop towards that side of the coach. You have air leveling, Mark goes over that, or goes over that in the video. Um, feature benefit for air leveling versus your hydraulic uh, leveling jacks that you see down here by HWH. Um, for short term, you can level when it's not so dramatic, when, this, when, it's, when the pitch isn't so steep. I guess you could do them if you didn't want someone to know that you were camping in your vehicle and you wanted to have a e uh, more even uh, sleeping surface and you were at a Walmart or something, maybe you might be a little more incognito. People wouldn't know that you were staying. Um, so I guess that could be a reason that you might use that air leveling system. Uh, but I do think uh, the HWH hydraulic leveling jack system, in my experience thus far, just using them has been fantastic. I can really, I like to have a little more lift on my headboard side because I don't like to have a headache for having any kind of tilt at the next day. And sure, I just check, I trust the levelers, but whenever I can just give myself a little more pitch, I think it's just one of those things where I know I'm not gonna wake up with that, with that headache in the morning. Of course, that's good for my whole family. Okay, so this is gonna be a difference of opinion. Um, I have this on my coach. Our lawn chairs, we carry five chairs with us. Like I said, I never have anything less than five people with me, um, are on the ground. And when I'm sitting down here, I love this positioning uh, of the television. I actually think this is one of the better aspects um, or one of the better selling aspects of this coach is that they have it down here in this bay. And then of course, because it's not up here, you have more room on the inside of this smaller compact coach. Uh, also the, up there, there's one of those cameras. So you've got four cameras around the coach for your overhead viewing, for your 360 bird's eye view. You've got your two side cameras, and then you also have your front and rear backup cameras. So lots of visibility in all of these products. Like I said, Numar really just makes a fantastic product. Now let's show you though. So when you talk about storage, this is one of those things that's important to understand. So these are gonna be the same depth. So I'm gonna measure the depth of this one. These are your extra porcelain tile in case you have a broken tile. Your in a vac uh, tube system for your uh, central vac. This one is just about 57 inches deep. So they'll both be about 57 inches deep. Oh my God, really? Seriously? Oh, it's stuck under the, seriously. Oh, only on Mondays, folks. Why do I shoot videos on Mondays? All right, so 26 inches, I should, yeah, 26 inches across on this one and 21 there. I'm gonna tell you 20 and three quarters and I'm gonna tell you 25 and three quarters in terms of widths. That way, if you are budgeting for something, I, I don't wanna undershoot you and have you feel like I misled you when you went out to buy your bins. So let's just go ahead with a three quarters, 25 and three quarters on this one, uh, just because I think it might be a little more accurate. Um, but as I said, so, Pretty big difference in uh, storage capacity on these coaches. So for those of you that are bringing out like, you know, your Traeger, your Green Mountain, you know, and your Weber and your lawn chairs and your paddle boards and, and, and the 41 foot coach might be the better, better suit for you. Same three cubic foot Dometic dual zone uh, freezer on a side tray. Same fantastic uh, power awning pack. You don't have to go into a mountain air to get this. This is going to be a Dutch Star, Dutch Star level uh, option. And keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, 10 kilowatt generator, three air conditioners. I mean, that 43 foot Dutch has a lot of stuff on it. And if you really wanna kind of crunch the numbers cause you're going up tens of thousands of dollars in these model jumps that you'll do, um, make sure you really understand it first. Make sure you're making a good decision, not only for your family, but for your pocketbook. Um, let me know how I can help. 
Of course, my name is Katie O'Neill. Uh, today, I hope you enjoyed our side-by-side -side comparison on these two RVs. Uh, you can always get a hold of me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Um, I've got two custom order coaches coming in the first week of June. It's just so rewarding to be able to help you guys get out on the road and camping. Please give me a call and let me know how I can help. Thanks so much for tuning in.